in his yeah. most revealing interview ever. <laughs> Robert Lloyd gives both barrels to the record industry of the early 90s. People could not idolise me. He never once joined in with any of the movements, any of the trends, any of the fads. They never wanted to compromise. Coming up in this song, we'll be following Wolverhampton based pop group The Nightingales. I always used to think that when I pegged it, all of a sudden people would buy the records and pretend they liked us all along. But I begin to worry that what if I peg it and they still don't buy the records? <laughs> Shop treatment open for you, which was John Taylor. Yeah. Yeah, from Duran Duran. Yeah. That's a barefaced lie. What I like about this as a documentary idea is it is already based on an unsure false history. That's a hit haircut, that is. Look at that. That's a thing that a bloke with a hit does. They've got lifetime achievement awards yeah. and they've got lives in hell. <laughs> Live in hell. <laughs> Live in Wellington. In Birmingham, they used to have a King Kong statue. What does that represent? Nothing. Birmingham rejected the statue. When I started thinking about the Nightingales and Rob Lloyd and the prefects, I thought maybe there's some way of using images of this to tell the story of you. Rob was my Johnny Rotten. I think everybody who has mainstream success wishes they were a cult hero, and every cult hero wishes they had mainstream success. Ooh, ooh, am I right? Am I? Am I? <laughs> it's a sort of charmed life, isn't it? It's not fixed in a time. It's still free, and you were free. I'm, I'm totally free. Gonna carry on whatever they, whatever they say. Look at you, you're in matched up condition. <laughs> That comes in better shape than you now. <laughs>